We begin with the latest on a brazen carjacking that took place in Toronto Monday night. Night. Sources telling CTV News the carjacking involved Maple Leafs forward Mitch Marner. Let's go to CTV's Angie Seth. She's following the story for us this morning. Angie. Yeah, good to see you, Marcy. And as you pointed out earlier hour that we do know that the uh, the victim there was Mitch Marner. That uh, information coming from Maple Leafs PR. So this was no simple carjacking we know. Involved three suspects, two of whom had guns. The third suspect had a knife. And this statement coming from Leafs PR uh, about 20 minutes or so ago. So I'm going to read the statement to you where it it says, in part, we can confirm now. And uh, Mitch Marner was the unfortunate victim of a carjacking in Etobicoke on Monday evening. He was unharmed in the incident. And the club and Mitch are thankful for Toronto Police Services' support. Anyone with information is asked to reach out to Toronto Police Services. TPS has asked that neither Mitch nor the club comment any further on the details of the incident, as this is an ongoing investigation. Mitch Marner will not be available today. Uh, considering everything that happened last night, he's not going to be available. Uh, our other players will be. Fail there, and so confirmation we won't be hearing from the club, of course, or Mitch Marner, as per TPS. But this all happened at the Cineplex Theatre parking lot located on Queensway. This is at the intersection of Queensway and Islington uh, in uh, the West End in Etobicoke. Police say around 7.45 Eastern time, uh, a man, that being Mitch Marner, was robbed of his Black Range Rover by three suspects. Uh, we know, again, that those suspects were armed, and Mitch Marner was not injured in the incident. We understand he was inside the vehicle with his fiancée. This is according to TSN, when the three men approached the vehicle, they seized it and then they sped off. And so, as we mentioned, we also understand that Marner was taken to 22 Division hours later to give statements to investigators. Again, not physically or he was physically shaken, but he was not, uh, he was not physically injured. And this is not the first incident to take place at this particular parking lot. According to police, two nights prior, two male suspects attempted to carjack another vehicle, but they were unsuccessful. And it is not known whether the incident involving Mitch Marner and this other incident from two nights ago are connected. But these carjackings are not unique. In fact, there's been a spree of carjackings and muggings over the last couple of months where thieves have been extremely brazen and violent just to get their hands on someone's vehicle. So, Marcy, as we know, the investigation is ongoing through all of this, and we're going to watch it very closely for any further developments. We'll bring them to you right here on CTV News Channel.